I got through the entire pre-ordering configuration process despite multiple website crashes and server failures. And I filled out all of the information, picked out everything I needed and got to the very end when I found out. Hey guys, Emmanuel C here. The first batch of framework laptops was released last week on Thursday, May 13th, the day after I posted my video. And the base model sold out on the first day. The base model comes with an 11th generation i5 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage and Windows 10 Home pre-installed. It went pretty well for the company if you count weird email subject headings and their servers turning into molten slag multiple times, well then it went well. Now some of the main questions that I had were around pricing, mainly what's the entry price going to be and how expensive are upgrades and repairs going to be later on. So let's get that out of the way. There are three pre-built configurations, base, performance, and professional, costing $999, $1399, and $1999 respectively. And there's also a DIY version that starts at $749. Comparing these to recent M1 MacBooks, the base model has the same RAM, storage, and price as the entry-level MacBook Air. The performance model is close to the entry-level M1 MacBook Pro at $1299. But if you spec it with the same RAM and storage, it drives the price up to $1699. When comparing the professional model to an M1 MacBook, well, you can't get that much RAM on an M1 Mac. They're capped at 16 gigabytes of RAM. But if, let's say, you give it the same amount of storage, it drives the price up to $1899. But wait, these aren't primarily Windows laptops. Why not compare them to other Windows laptops? Fair enough. Comparing these to the recent Dell XPS 13, which is one of the most commonly recommended Windows laptops out there, a Dell XPS 13 with the same CPU, RAM, and storage as the base model costs $899. A Dell XPS 13 with the same CPU, RAM, and storage as the performance model costs $1149. And a Dell XPS 13 with the same CPU, less RAM at 16 gigabytes and less storage at 512 gigabytes costs $1399. This model also only comes with two USB-C ports and one of those has to be used for charging. Now, you may be asking why the Dell XPS 13? It's a pretty repairable and modular laptop for today's standards. I fix it actually gave the Dell XPS 15 a 9 out of 10 in terms of its repairability. It comes with a SD card slot and the NVMe SSD is actually user replaceable. However, they also only have USB-C ports and you obviously can't replace these like you can on a framework laptop. All of the models that I compared have a different quality screen with a different aspect ratio, different color accuracy, different webcam at 720p, just different. Also RAM is soldered onto these units, no upgrading later. Now you may be asking, what model of framework laptop did you get? Well, what had happened was I got through the entire pre-ordering configuration process despite multiple website crashes and server failures. And I filled out all of the information, picked out everything I needed and got to the very end when I found out they were only doing orders to the United States of America for now. Also, shout out to whoever's running their Twitter profile. They responded very swiftly and quickly to my complaints as well as other enthusiasts. They're faster than J. Cole's new album to the top of the charts. Currently, pre-orders are being done in batches. You have to put down a fully refundable $100 deposit now to get your pre-order in July slash August. Like I said earlier, the base model sold out on the first day and it's naturally the most popular. At $9.99, it's a fairly spec system especially if you're buying it with the intention of upgrading it later. No need to go all out in the start. If you want to get a base model and you live in the United States, you'll have to order from batch two, and those won't be shipping now until August. Batch one of the performance and professional models 
are still available now to order and those will be shipping at the end of July into August. But my second question, how much are replacement parts upgrades going to be is still unanswered. Replacement and upgrade parts will be available for sale on the framework marketplace starting in summer 2021. At that point, we'll probably see how much replacements for your screen, your keyboard, maybe even your battery, or replacing the mainboard and CPU cost. If you're interested in getting a framework laptop or learning more about it, make sure you subscribe because I'll be covering news about it as they come out. Or if you're just interested in general tech news or information, hit that subscribe button also. If you found this video informative, do me a favor and hit that like button. I'm Emmanuel C. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you hopefully in the next video. Take it easy. Peace. Something interesting I found when I was configuring the laptop. Now the base model starts at $999. The DIY starts at $749, but that's with no RAM, storage, you might have your own, Wi-Fi card, operating system, no power adapter, no ports on the side. So I spec'd out a DIY version with the same configuration as the base model framework laptop. And it cost $1,105. That's $106 more than a pre-built base model. Now, maybe the Wi-Fi 6E card that you can get in the DIY is that much more expensive than the Wi-Fi 6 card. In the base model, maybe the storage is slightly different, maybe it's slightly faster. Let's say you have your OS to install. You don't need to buy Windows from Framework. You can get it for $966, which saves you $33 from the base model. What I found strange about this is that usually when you buy parts from somewhere and you have to build something yourself, it costs less than if you were to buy those same parts and have that thing built for you. There's usually some sort of added cost that accounts for labor. It almost seems like they're incentivizing people to buy the pre-built version of this laptop when the pre-built comes less expensive than buying those same parts and building it yourself. I don't know, just something I found kind of interesting and strange. Am I wrong here? Does anyone else find that kind of weird? Anyways, this is it for real now. Peace.